RCAP Coast Space Rescue Challenge U12 My name is Talia. I'm 9 years old. My team ID is EG6048. My team name is Ruby. I'm from Egypt and I live in Alexandria. I have participated in our Cap Coast Space Rescue U12 category. I have participated in iCall Challenge Egypt 2021 in Coast Space Robot U12 category. My challenge task was, the, was to move forward in the map to make the robot detect color, collect, detect, collect color objects to avoid traps and walls to make strategies in order to detect the deposit area and to move to send a certain position while trying to get a high score in six minutes, the mission of Co-Space Challenge was RCAP Co-Space Rescue U12 category. The problems were when the robot is fully loaded with objects, it wasted much time to go to the deposit area. Also, while coding, I also found that the robot could not collect super objects that were near to the wall. My methods were to change the wrong turn by the correct turn statement. Robot to go to the deposit area. And I did not use the compass. However, I built a statement called wall tracking and I used ultrasonic sensor wheels and more actions to avoid this problem. The results and conclusion. The results at the end was that the problems were solved and the robot made successful deposits while avoiding traps and walls. My conclusion is, the, uh, is um, that the wrong coded statement can make the robot misses the deposit area and cannot avoid traps and also might hit walls. Analysis. The challenge mission was to rescue color objects, collect super objects when possible while making the right turns so as to deposit them in the right area on the map without hitting the walls and avoiding traps to get the high score in six minutes. The challenge task B broken down into many mini tasks like to set the forward task statement to avoid walls, to detect color objects and super objects and collect them, to use ultrasonic sensors and wheels, to deposit and to avoid traps. The mission will be solved if the mini tasks were completed in the right way. An algorithm and resources. I programmed the robot to move forward in the following ca cases. If there was nothing in front of it like walls or traps, if the ultrasonic sensor detect any wall, it turn left. If the color sensor detect any colored object, it collected them 
by using the lit status, the duration, and the key action to make the robot collect the objects. If the color sensor detects yellow color, which was warning of the traps, the robot turned to avoid the traps. If the color sensor detects orange color, which was the deposit area, the robot deposits the collected objects, my tools and resource, resources. The robot will turn statement, ultrasonic sensor, the co and the color sensor. Flow chart to find objects. Flow chart to trap. Implementation. My methods of how the algorithms and tools were used to solve the challenge mission. While coding, I realized that the robot needed a, 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 procedure, a procedure to collect more objects to get a high score, so I formed a zigzag strategy. It consists of three statements. I used time and wheels to build the three statements to make the robot rotate at any direct degree to collect a lot of objects and get score high especially in the blue zone my se my second strategy was to get was to set the two green markers i used the ultrasonic sensor color sensor position compass key action and wheels to form the statement for the two green markers i also found that the robot could not collect super objects that were near the wall so i built a statement called wall tracking and used ultrasonic sensor wheels and more actions to avoid this problem Finally, the robot deposited easily as there were markers instead um, inserted next to each one. Debugging. The robot did not go uh, as uh, what I have planned and coded at first some of the the uh, difficulties were that when robot ruby was fully loaded with objects it wasted much time to go to the deposit area while coding i realized that the robot needed a procedure to collect more objects to get a high score while coding i also found that the robot could not collect super objects that were near the wall the debugging process i first always click on the debug button then check the name and value of the problem go to the deposit specific specific statement and did, did the following for the time wasted i wrote in every statement of the color object loaded object smaller six smaller than six in the advanced action for so the robot does not waste time and i formed a zigzag strategy it consists of three statements. I used time and wheels 
to build the three statements. So as to make the robot rotate at, the, at any de degree to collect a lot of objects and get score high, especially in the blue zone, I built a statement called wall tracking and used ultrasonic sensor variables wheels and more actions to avoid this problem the wall tracking statement consists of five statements the first was go super it tells the robot that there is a super object present to be connected then i formed four other statements containing a, a advanced condition called super n equal equal one which means the uh, robot will do it if the super object is present the robot avoid the robot avoid the wall when the ultrasonic sensor were less smaller than 15. video illustration
learning experience. I have learned about some more basic sensors that can be on any robot. And learned how to use some graphical programming methods with any robot. I have gained through the RCAP 2021 more confidence and experience to accomplish my mission goal. Although I did not have the chance to be from the finalists in the last com challenge that took place in Egypt, I have learned that competitions are, uh, are not only for winning, but also for gaining experiences. I would like to tell all people who are fond of this field that practice makes perfect. Also trying hard in achieving your goal mission with patience is important, even if you faced some difficulties at first. Thank you.